he lives on the top floor and we just thought, well, we've got these little models now. Why don't we uh, chuck them out this window? And um, yeah, it was a good start. Gave us some results. <laughs> we had a pillow on the bottom to like try and catch the fall, but most of the time it would just go all over the place and um, smack it against the ground and break it. So. <laughs> nice. That was totally stable, wasn't it? That was awesome. <laughs> So at the moment, skydiving is mainly filmed by a camera flyer and we're basically replacing a camera flyer with a robot that will track the skydivers. No one's ever produced a free-falling robot uh, f capable of f filming skydivers. Um, it's completely new and could revolutionise that market. It's going to have a GoPro on the outside for filming and I'll be able to move up and down in order to track the skydivers. If you want your jump to be filmed, and there's no one around to do it, then you could just go and grab a robot and just toss it along with you. We go skydiving near enough every week. Dave's quite experienced now, he's got 320 odd jumps. Yeah, I have the most jumps of anyone in the group, more than the rest put together. <laughs> uh, me and Pete have around 70, uh, and Tom's got three, but he's still definitely a skydiver. It's really peaceful up there when you jump out. I still get scared every time, but yeah, and you start to just enjoy it for what it is. The first time was pretty, pretty nerve-wracking. The first few people that were in the plane with me, like sort of sitting on the edge, ready to jump in clear air, and then suddenly we'd go into a cloud and they'd be jumping out in a cloud and couldn't see where they were going. <laughs> it was really, really exciting. Really fun. By the third jump, kind of like, yeah, you start to get used to it and you can actually remember jumping out. So this is an initial design. You're going to have the four vertical fins to control the position, two flaps that extend then then retract and control the terminal velocity and it's going to have the GoPro that tilts to follow the skydivers and then at the bottom is the servos of the controller, the battery, the microprocessor and this is where the pilot chute is going to go and this motor is going to control the deployment process so it's just going to release the string that holds the lid and obviously it's going to all be contained in the shell and then the parachute sits in this tray on top. It's attached by these connecting points. When it deploys, it flies it down to the earth. Basically, the legislation at the moment in the UK is you're not really allowed to throw objects out of a plane for obvious reasons, but there are ways around it. I, if we go to Arizona uh, and do some tests out there and prove that it's actually a viable concept, we'll be able to come back to the UK and say, look, these are our results. This is what we've done. It does work. We built a scale wind tunnel to, to test scale models. So check that it's stable, check that the flaps do what they're supposed to do and that we can make it respond to the changes in the surfaces and things like that. It's really useful. It's not too big either. It's quite portable so you can yeah, just in the living room. Whenever we've had like friends come around and we put it on, like, everyone's just been like backing away from it because it's quite a scary thing. We had a preliminary design review where two reviewers come in and check how we're getting on, how we're doing, what we're doing with the course. There are a few things that we missed out, a few things that we needed to touch upon. Overall, it wasn't too bad. So it's, just, it's just a shame that half of the slides they didn't care about. <laughs> but we came back today uh, and all seemed to go well. They were very impressed. Uh, so it was one of the best PDRs they've seen in a long time. It's going to work. Like We're all very passionate about making sure this works. Right now, we're doing this as a GDM course, as a group project designed to make, but we are all very keen to make sure that this turns into a future potential business. Yeah, I think the mechanical side of it is pretty straightforward, but actually programming it is going to be a pain, and I'm in charge of that. <laughs> a lot of work ahead.